If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. Check out Potan Store. It's a fantastic website with instant email delivery on all the code cards you could possibly want for PTCGO. And if you use Tailmon code when you're checking out, you get 5% off your final purchase. For the European players, Millibuds Gaming has everything from collectibles to all the latest cards from the latest sets, Cosmic Eclipse, Hidden Fates, and everything from Sun and Moon. Don't forget to check it out and use Tailwind code when checking out in order to get 5% off your final purchase. and welcome back to a brand new day of Road to Teacher World 2020. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are now going to be um, reviewing a few decks from this weekend where we are going to start off with my um, <clears throat> Tina Chump list. Well, not mine. Um, it's my good friend Alec Garcia's Tina Chump list that I used this weekend. Um, in order to get to bait at a league cup, so I wanted to showcase that for a little bit And then we're gonna be taking a look at the champion baby Balsafalon deck from this weekend's regional championship in Germany um, Stefan Ivanov won the tournament with baby Blunt with a green based engine Which was really cool to see and afterwards we are going to feature a PG um, control list as well if we have time so Tina Chomp, very similar to the Roxy Chomp, Roxy Tina Chomp list that we played um, a few days ago. The main idea is to utilize linear attack, set up chaos, 4 calamity slash, dealing 160 damage and 80 more if your opponent already has any damage counters on them. You can do that by, by the second turn by using Mysterious Message, knocking the Myth Magius out, drawing cards and activating your counter gain or card belt in order to be able to use your Calum Slash or even GG end quickly enough. Now, you also have access to Nagmatil and Gosler GX with 280 HP and an ability Violent Appetite, which allows it to heal itself as long as you discard a Pokemon, you heal 60 damage from it. But we have the attack Jet Pierce dealing 180, which is a very solid number. And we have Chaotic Order GX, where you turn all your prize cards face up, and if those prize cards, I mean, Rather, those prize cards will remain face up, but if this Pokemon has at least one extra Psychic and an extra Dark Energy attached, and remember, you can do this on turn 2 with Counter Gain, um, you actually get to draw two of those prizes. You take those two, you take two of those prize cards, so really nice GX attack, really good way to, to close out a game, and we also have access to Fireworks Bomb, allowing us to place um, 12 damage counters across the board, and we have Mimikyu for the copycat attack, that way we are not stalled out by Tag Purge from Mewtwo. We actually use copycat and Tag Purge then as well. So the engine is heavily reliant on greens, being able to search for any two trainer cards which become Pokemon with Tackle or Treasures, become Energy with Energy Spinner. Um, we can also access the Tackle engine with Asinka Caitlyn, Skuz Mahalath and Malulana. And we have a wide array of energy, so we have basic energy to access through energy spitter, and we have special energy to access through Kuzma and Hala. For Power Plant plus Fava, in order to beat Keldeo GX base decks, a single beast string for potential late game plays, and double dust stone so that we can evolve on turn one and start drawing cards immediately. J Dog, um, Corporal Crow, and Pixmill, thank you so much for being here. We are going to Featuring Tina Chump to start off, and then we will go for Baby Blunt, as you can see on the screen, and afterwards we will play with a little bit of Pidgey. Should be pretty good. Um, thanks so much for being here, J Dog, very kind of you, and we'll see what happens. Okay. Taking a while to find an opponent for some reason. Right, taking a while to find an opponent for some reason. 
There we go. Alright. Need to go first. I do go first, almost always good. Yeah, almost always good. Um, Corporal Pro, did I see ADP at the tournament? Um, you mean at the League Cup that I used this deck at? Um, yes, yes I did. I never went up against any, but there were a couple being played. Um, I would have definitely loved to face up against one of them, but unfortunately that's not what happened. All right, we're up against Malamar, so this means, I mean, having already these two cards is fantastic, or these three cards is fantastic, because Wave Blast Evelyn is basically what you want for this matchup, and Hidden Green, Soho, Pokegear, very nice as well. Let's go ahead and start off with a Greens for another Greens, and I think I just, I simply want to secure energies, although my Goose Mahala is actually priced. Um, so yeah, I'll grab those two for next turn though. I will simply attach here and it's nice that my opponent's reinforced actually gives me access to energy themselves. So what we're going to do is we're going to lead off using linear attacks, sniping off different people on the bench that my opponent might have, potentially tag teams if they end up benching any, and then eventually don't mind that at all. Like, we want to let the Garchomp Tina go down. That is our goal, for the Garchomp Tina to go down without us utilizing enemies' minions. And then afterwards, we will use Baby Blast Cephalon in order to eliminate um, the bench Pokemon that we did linear attack into. And afterwards, um, we will follow that up with the Nagnadel Custler. That's the strategy against Malamar. We'll see if it ends up working out that way. But our start certainly seems to facilitate that, which is fantastic. We do have to be careful of a potential... Um, what? That is... Odd, to say the least. Um, this gives us information on my opponent's end, which is really good, right? Um, I'll go ahead and get rid of the Great Catcher, definitely don't need that. Then my opponent might be assuming wrongly that um, I intend to go after, like start taking knockouts immediately, and that is certainly not what I'm going to do. Go ahead and establish that. I will simply occasionally to have greens access, which is usually almost always better, right? Unless you're looking for energies, having greens is better than simply Kidlin. And then I will go ahead and attach here. And that's all I'm going to do. And then I'm going to go ahead and linear attack onto a Jirachi. I don't know if my opponent will evolve. I really do want to take at least a couple of prizes with the Garchomp Giratina. I'm really in absolutely no rush here. Like, even spreading a bunch of damage could be ideal. My opponent doesn't even reinforce away the energy. Like, he played the stadium and then never used it. That makes absolutely no sense. Um, that makes no sense whatsoever. Um, all right, so I'll go ahead and attach one more energy. Like, I don't even need to do anything at this stage. Like, I'll get the B-string into my hand, I guess. And then, I guess, Dust Stone seems like a good card to have as well, so that I have them just make use. Um, potentially ready. I already attached energy. I don't want to evolve just yet though because that trades away my greens. Mm. I feel like if I bench the Bayboss Boss Evelyn, I will immediately reveal to my opponent my strategy, which is not the biggest of deals. Based on my opponent's terrible start though, like I might not even need the Blast of Um Next turn, I'll definitely KO the Giratina. I'd say uh, my opponent does play Research Stamp and does find it as well, so that's very annoying. But I do find recovery, I guess. Uh, we also see Custom Catcher, so not playing the most standardized list, right? Not playing the most standardized list. 
I'm not even using Gradient Forest, so that's terrible. Oh my gosh, thank you, Carrots, for letting me know. <laughs> no, I am not hiding my hand on purpose. Thank you so much for letting me know. There we go. That should do it, right? Thank you so much for letting me know. Thank you so, so much. What? All right. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. I was definitely not hiding my hand on purpose. Wow, so I've been talking for the last 10 minutes without you being able to see my hand. That's not good. Okay. This situation now is not the best, but it's not the worst either. I went debating really hard where to put that 40 damage. I guess he's seen me snipe. Yeah. And hello, Nicholas. How are you doing? He has certainly seen me snipe. Okay, so I need to decide. Do I... I feel like I poke it here first. Because if I find greens, which I do not, I actually will fail that. Okay. I think this is right. Just get back the greens into my hand. Discard the great catcher. So discarding Mimikyu might have been better. The catcher might have some use. Mimikyu definitely won't have any use. And I do find the treasure, however, so that's really nice. Mm. Yeah, I'll get rid of the Mimikyu. Grab the baby clown. And then do I just spread again? I feel like I can simply spread here. Nah, I don't wanna go down in between turns. There's a chance my friend doesn't even get a return KO here. And I'm not gonna evolve just to have access. Well, yeah, I'm not gonna evolve to have access to the humans. Yeah, I can't use Miss Mayus. What am I thinking? Okay, so now we Calamity Slash. That's two prizes for our two prizer. Three prizer, sorry. Um, if my opponent gets return KO, then we might be in a little bit of trouble. That's for sure. But if he doesn't, then we've traded three for three. Um, we might want to spread instead with linear attack to set up fireworks bomb. We'll see. We'll see what happens here. We shall see what happens. Did you go to Bokum Regionals, Nicholas? If so, how did it go? All right. Another prize card. My opponent was debating on where to spread the damage. I decided to put everything on the Blastathlon. Wait, how do I have 140 damage? If I am to attach the Ringo. Oh, I attached that row here. He did one and three. Oops. Okay. So we are likely losing our... Yeah, well, with that hand, we are definitely losing our Tina Chump here. We are most certainly losing our Tina Chump here. So my plan is going to be promote the Blastathlon and greens for P-string and counter gain. I'm not taking two prizes though with Blastathlon. I'm only taking one. That's so not great. I mean, I need to take at least one, right? Take one prize with the Blastephalon, and then I have the tag team powered up, then I GX, and then I'm one attack away from potentially winning. Plus, stamping my opponent down to one card in the process, very likely. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, there is a fighting energy, so my opponent is playing, confirms my suspicions, I guess, that he is playing Garchomp Giratina. Will he choose to KO me with that? Or will he choose to KO me with the Giratina? He would assume Giratina, right? 
No, he's gonna go guard chunk Giratina. Imagine if he goes GG and your blood cephalon. That would be fantastic. <laughs> Don't think that's gonna happen, but that would be pretty funny to see. Yeah, come on, Miss Slash. Okay. Does this change things? I mean, I guess it kind of does. Because of my tag team person. So 180. Huh. Yeah, I guess HOC can't GG and. Hmm. He can't GG in next turn. I guess I have to do that. I have to like pretend. I need to stop him from getting a prize card. Like I need to force a GG end. Pretty much. Okay, well, I'm definitely greenings though for a um, counter gain and another green. I think that's guaranteed, right? Stamp isn't too impactful. So I'll go counter gain here. And I'll bench this. I'll go ahead and Viridian Forest away. And this Magus. For a Psychic. Uh, yeah, that's... Well, that's not ideal to attach. I guess it'll have to do. And then I'll fireworks bomb. And I'll place three damage counters here. And then I have nine left over to get a KO and a Mahamar with. Uh yeah, I should. If I have to invest on our energy into level seven, then that's fine, I guess. It's not the end of the world. <laughs> It's an interesting spot though. Interesting spot. I feel like my opponent needs to GG in here. Because if I blow up, or I blow up the Miss Magius, go Goose Mahala for Rainbow. Oh no, but then I need a switch as well. I mean, I don't think he ever knocks this guy out, right? At the very least, that's not happening. And he's like, well, if he does, like, if he knocks out the Blacephalon, we win with Kuzmahala. And if he doesn't knock out the Blacephalon, he's not taking a prize. Therefore, we can do six on the NK, probably not getting a KO. We can simply put six damage counters on the Tina Chump, power up the. Um, power up the person. I think I priced two fighting energies too. No, I priced one. Um, power up the. Does he KO Miss Magius? Does that matter? Oh, the mischievous. I should have evolved. Ah, uh, does KO mischievous lose me the game? I not necessarily. Well, actually it does, because I have all my... Ugh. It does, because I have my two Miss Maguses in hand. So I can't set up another one, blow it up, and then... No, even then. Yeah, I think KO the Mistreo is... KO's me. And power plant, <laughs> mute on you. Thank you so much for being here from YouTube. Hello, chaos. And Nicholas, uh, no, it's it's on Fridays. Remember, Fridays are when we try and play against viewers. Oh, I should have evolved to prevent this. <clears throat> I should have evolved to prevent this. Oh wait, is my opponent gonna retreat and knock me out with 
Wait, what? What? That makes absolutely no sense. Does leaking that energy really sucks though? Because now I can't beast stream up to the Ultra Necrozma. Not the Ultra Necrozma, I got Slurp Magna. That made absolutely no sense whatsoever. What did my opponent just do? Oh, stop taking this energy so bad though. I don't. Is my opponent's last card hand last card in hand switch? What just happened? What just happened? Yeah, I have no basic energies to advance onto this guy. That's not ideal. Um, yeah, Power Plan, we are going to be playing with PG Control, hopefully. I don't understand what just happened. Okay, so I can give my opponent a prize, I can also just attach. And I can knock this guy out. Okay. I don't understand what my opponent just did. It it generally baffles me. <laughs> I do not understand what my opponent just did. Okay, so I should try and set up the win for next turn, right? Okay, so when a fireworks bomb, I could just knock this guy out too. I think carrying the retreater is good. Yeah, I don't care about La Cephalon actually. I don't think I can set up the win. Yeah, because I need. Yeah, he needs to bench something. I don't. I really don't understand what my opponent did. Hello, native friend. How are you doing? I do not understand what my opponent did. Okay. So I'm going to start getting the code ready because I feel like this game is going to end very soon. Yeah. I'll be giving out codes after every game that we play today. Okay. Unless it's like a donk or something. Um, so coming up is a Hidden Fates code giveaway. So just make sure you pay attention to chat and you'll be able to participate in the giveaway. If you're watching right now, you'll definitely be able to participate. Okay, I, I really don't understand why my opponent retreated. I feel like he had game almost. What? I feel like he had game almost, and then he threw it away. I just, I just, I don't understand. Okay, so I'm not even gonna let him get more stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and goose Mahama. I don't need this guy anymore, that's for sure. So I'll grab those two, no more tool cards left. And then I'll go ahead and attach this. I have um reason stamp protection so i'm just gonna go ahead and fireworks bomb get this ko leave this guy potentially ready to be ko'd and then place the rest of the damage on the lowest hp person and now my opponent needs to top deck like lily into switch into great catcher into stamp into pale moon gx I don't. You're testing Sir and Shield, Native Ryan? Nice. What? Well, that's a start. What um, what decks have you been trying out? I've been doing well, thank you. I've been um, playing a league up this weekend. 
Um, played soccer. Okay. So this was super, super weird by my opponent. This was super, super weird by my opponent. But I guess we'll take it, right? I guess we shall take it. All right. So we are going to give away a code. Let me just make sure this is working correctly, which it currently is not. Window capture. Uh, where are you? Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, it's here. Okay. Um, 31 second. I will get it right, I promise. I promise, eventually, at some point, okay. Chrome, where are you? 